Bowl 58. Jacoby Brissett and the Pittsburgh Steelers versus Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys. We are pleased as always to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Tonight it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy as it'll be the Pittsburgh Steelers, the AFC champion, taking on the NFC champions, the Dallas Cowboys. Super Bowl week is over, and away we go in Super Bowl 58. And able to get this across the 20, but not much as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Now we'll see what the right arm of Dak Prescott has in store as the Dallas Cowboys offense sets up shop. I love his mobility, and I think he continues to get better and better as a pocket passer. But how about just his plain intangibles that he brings to the position? Mental toughness, as well as a physical presence that helps power any offense. On first and 10, Prescott over the middle, Amari Cooper, it's complete. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. A seven-yard pickup brings up second and three at the 30-yard line. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. Number 21, Ezekiel Elliott. An early test. Two plays in. This is third and two. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Knocked that down for a win in the defense column. Ezekiel Elliott. Yeah, Elliott trying to work his way forward, but it looks like he did not make it. So opening drive, three straight runs, unable to pick up the first. I know the fans want to see first downs, but guess what? The coaches have reasons for what they're doing. Sometimes they've scripted it, and some of these runs, while they haven't been successful now, they may be successful later on. The Steelers. So here are the Steelers now to take over for the first time. They'll be led out by their quarterback, a product of NC State. It's Jacoby Brissett. What I enjoyed this week is that you asked to talk to his offensive center before the game and find out a little bit more about him and what the relationship is. And that was a pretty positive story, wasn't it? Yeah, and really what I took away from that is just how it has permeated throughout the entire offensive line, the relationship they've had. It's really a group that's in sync. They care about him. That's the thing. They really care. And when you care that much, you're going to play that much harder for him and give him a better chance to lead the team that wins. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. They go play action with Brissett. They'll find Juju Smith-Schuster. And he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. With a first touchdown of this Super Bowl and a long one at that. And the Steelers have taken a first quarter lead. 
So a long play for our first points in the Super Bowl. No doubt about it. And what we see here is something that we saw all year long from them. The ability to strike from anywhere on the field. How about the way they got it started in this one? Oswell good with the extra point. And it's now a 7-0 game. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Taking it about the one. But a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Over first and 10 at their own 30-yard line. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. They'll start the drive with Elliott. It was Mike Hilton up to make the tackle. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back. Unsuccessful. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. A first down carry by Elliott. It's a 10-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. Elliott. A tough run by Ezekiel Elliott, the fourth overall pick in the 2016 draft. If you watch tape of him in college, you saw plenty of those runs because I know the highlights showed him in the open field breaking away from people, but that's how he wore down defenses, those exact type of runs. like we've got a cowboy shaking up down there on the field while the training staff takes a peek we'll take a break the last run got a couple here second and eight from the shotgun it's Prescott this one caught left side by Cooper and to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible, hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage, and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. Throw left side complete. That's Elliott. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. It's a gain of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage, so they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Prescott on first down. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. Cameron Hayward in there for sack number 85 of his great career, moving him past Hall of Famer Howie Long on the all-time list. Work 
to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Another try after the first down sack. Prescott, they'll set up the screen to Elliott. Prescott's pass. They'll wind up getting Tim back as that sets him up for third down. Tim brings up third and six. On third down, it's Prescott. And this is going to be intercepted. Got up by Mika Fitzpatrick. What a start defensively. Your offense goes out, gets the touchdown, and then you get the interception. Just perfect. How about the discipline that they showed on defense? Because after the offense scored to go up 7-zip, you would think they might be a little extra aggressive trying to get back at them. Instead, they read their keys well. When they took the shot downfield, they were more than prepared for that one. First down, Metcalf. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. This Super Bowl, of course, just a huge one for this head coach. The first time he's walked the sidelines in a game of this magnitude, and you know, I might normally ask the cliche, what's going through his mind right now? But maybe the better question, CD, what do you think of the pitfalls of being a first-time head coach in this game? Well, you know it's something that he thought about, Brandon, and he had to, and he was thinking about it long before he got to this stage. As the season progressed, and he saw that his team was good, if he was smart, he started to make plans right then and there. Reach out to other coaches who have been there before, find out how they handled winning, losing, handling all the ticket situations, travel, practice, all of those things, and then trust your gut, make your best decision, and put it all out there and give your team their best chance to win. First down there, but it's incomplete. Juju Smith-Schuster, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. As defensive coordinators around the league tell me all the time, that throw is not for every quarterback because you've really got to drive the ball downfield. It's going to be a tight window for him to fit that one into. In this case, unsuccessful. To the right side to Eric Ebron. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Came up a little short on the last pass play. They did get nine yards out of it, leaving him with his third and one. Now a handoff here to his running back, and he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. It'll be a pickup of just two, and it'll move the chains. I like this focus there because he wasn't thinking about breaking that one big. All he thought about was, I need one. Let's go get that. Ended up picking up two. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. And he'll give it here to his running back. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Brissett. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. Demarcus Lawrence. Credit him with a sack, and it goes as a loss of six. But nothing takes to start to have a good drive quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Now, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Ninth play of the drive now on third and a country mile. Out of the gun, Brissett. He'll find Metcalf. 
And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. That'll bring up fourth down. They wind up getting eight yards, but they needed more than that. Well, that's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath by all means. So on fourth down, the Steelers call on the number of Chris Boswell for the field goal try. This is a 49-yard attempt, right hash. And Boswell's kick is good. And the lead moves to 10 zip. Makes the short. Steelers is 10. Cowboys nothing. So in the end, they had the ball for 10 plays, but the drive gets them three, not six. Is it okay if I give credit to both sides on this one? Absolutely. All right, let's start defensively. They hung in there. Ten play drive. They stiffened when they got close to the goal line, made them kick a field goal for the offense. Ten play drive. They might be a little disappointed they got a field goal, but they moved the ball down the field with dispatch and came away with points. Dak and the Cowboy offense heading back onto the field. And he had to be pleased at the start of the last drive. The offense was moving, but certainly not pleased at the end result, an interception. And every team we ever talk to at some point in the conversation, the coach, player, someone talks about, you know, we've got to finish. We've got to finish off drives, finish off the game. There's an example they're not finishing, doing everything right, but not getting the result that you need. Second and 10 now from the 27. Brings up second and 10. Out of the gun, it's Elliott. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. We think, Brandon, I like the intensity this defense is showing right here in these first few drives. They're not just holding the line because they're doing their job, but they're doing more than that, aren't they? They're getting a nice push into the offensive backfield. And a great example right there for the loss on the tackle. Out now comes the Cowboys punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. Fair catch signaled for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. 10-0 the score after one on EA Sports. They'll run on first down. Metcalf, and not much, maybe a yard up to the 29. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. 29 yard line. A gain of a yard. Brings up second and nine. From the shotgun, it's Brissett. He gets it left side of Johnson. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38 yard line. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. First down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. James Washington was the intended target, and that'll bring up second down. It leads to second and ten. From the gun, here's Bissell. He'll find Smith-Schuster, that's complete. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 41-yard line. A gain there of 21 yards. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Cowboy territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 41. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Credit him with a one yard gain there to make it second and nine. Anthony Brown on the tackle. One yard gain brings up second and nine. Now Brissett. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Incomplete. It's now third down and nine yards. Here's Brissett. And a throw there going to be incomplete. More problems here on third down. They've converted only once so far in this first half. And you know as well as I do in this league, if you don't win on third down, 
it makes it hard to win a ball game because then you're relying on your defense, relying on your special teams. You've got to get it done with your offensive unit. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field and still no points on the scoreboard. You're coming off of the three and out. They're just looking for anything to grab onto right now, aren't they? I'm wondering if someone's going to take charge in the huddle. You know, we always look, and look to the quarterback, but sometimes it's another player on the team, a star, a veteran, someone with some excitement and energy. It's like, all right, guys, let's shake things up and let's go because they still have an opportunity to make things happen. Shake it off. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six. At the off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. Able to hit his target line. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. That one good for 26 and a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. Good work after the catch. Going to net him 23 and a first. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius, understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball, and puts it right out there for the nice pickup. A first down throw for Prescott. He'll find Lamb, that's complete. And he takes it down to the 10 yard line. After the catch, gets him 15 and a first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. The first opportunity in the red zone for the Cowboys. They've got a first and 10 from the 10. Now Elliott. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. This defense is really flowing around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense going to have to come up with something else in order to try and get his running game going. That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. Throwing Prescott. And this is caught. It's Cooper. And he'll be brought down here at the three yard line. That'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10 point deficit. Third and three. The Cowboys on third down. Two for five to this point. This time it's third and three. Prescott from the game. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. Amari Cooper there to make the grab. And the Cowboys draw a bit closer. And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown. With extra point forthcoming. within a field goal it's 10 at 7 now so this drive spans seven plays and it's capped off for the Cowboys touchdown so just a three-point game now as they send this one away now here's Johnson and the tackle gonna be made right there at the 25-yard line at their own 25-yard line 
Now we get a peek at the captain of this offense heading back out there. He's played a pretty clean first half, a touchdown, no interceptions. Frankly, that's what they expect out of him. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well, and he's able to do that and put it in the end zone. They'd love to see more of that before this game finishes. But right now, he's got his team in a good spot. A good spot. Maybe looking for touchdown pass number two here in the second quarter. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. That good for 22 and a first down. Sometimes those lines that are drawn on a grease board or in a playbook, they come to life <laughs> out on the field, don't they? And we just saw that on that outside handoff to the right. That right tackle, he gets excited for that call, doesn't he? He does, because he just wants to dominate his guy and say, listen, I was the point of attack. I took care of business. That's why you're able to get downfield and add all those yards to your total. Yeah, really nice game there. Running game working, they'll stick with it on first down. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run-pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Just get the playoff. Now Brissett. That'll be taken in there by James Washington. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. His first catch of this Super Bowl, and it'll be good for a first down. First and 10 at the 42-yard line. Now a give, right side, Metcalf. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Leighton Van Der Esch on the tackle. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four. At the Cowboys, 30 To throw is Brissett. Open man completes it to Smith-Schuster. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 12-yard line. That one goes for 24 yards. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And able to get him inside the five here, just inside the five without the four. He was running a solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with the band. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. Steelers on third down. Just one for three thus far. Here it's third and two. Brissett sets to throw it. And he's going to be dropped. Back at the 15-yard line. Demarcus Lawrence, his second sack of the night. How about that, partner? His second sack of the game, and that puts him in some pretty good company. 17 guys have had two sacks in the previous 52 Super Bowls, but only three have had the record number of three sacks in this game. And we've got the list here. If he gets another one and everyone behaves nicely, we might just list those out for him. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. Boswell's kick is good. And the lead stretches to six here. It's 13 7. 13. Cowboys 7. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. 26 yards line. Dak Prescott on the offense heading back onto the field. He's had a solid start to this game, but bottom line is they're losing, so he doesn't care about his stats. He just wants to right the ship on the scoreboard. He wants to actually increase his stats because he feels like if he does, that means things will get better for his team, maybe get him back into the ball game or into the lead. 
In these situations, I remember playing with a quarterback once where he actually ran out onto the field first ahead of everyone else just to say, guys, let's go. Try and create that energy, create that spark. So, so far, he has one touchdown, one interception. He'll be looking for that second touchdown now. From the 31, Prescott. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Complete. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. Now he couldn't get anything going there out on the right side in the flat of the swing pass. And didn't we have a discussion with their staff about wanting to get the backs more involved in the Big passing emphasis. game? Huge emphasis for this game, but... Obviously, the defense had other plans, and Gordon made a nice play. A 40-yard punt, given three on the return, and the Steelers will go on offense here, first and ten. Here again comes Juju Smith-Schuster and the Steelers, and he's been pretty good under the lights here tonight, hasn't he, partner? He certainly has, and I applaud him for that because I don't know what it's like for you, but to me, preparing for a night game involves a little bit more. Trying to hold your intensity, hold that edge throughout an entire day of waiting to get out there and play. You know, the meetings, what time you're going to eat, all those things. He's harnessed it very well. It's turning in a nice performance. Yeah, he's closing in on 100 yards. For me, it's all about the afternoon nap for a night game. That's, I like the way you prep. <laughs> that one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, then drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage, even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help him at contract time. And they finally get to him as he's taken down. Demarcus Lawrence bringing the pressure yet again. That's his third sack here tonight. And that's his third sack, and that ties a Super Bowl record. Makes me think of my old college teammate, Reggie White. He had three with the Green Bay Packers in Super Bowl 31. Darnell Dockett of Arizona, Super Bowl 43. And Coney Ealy. Three sacks for the Panthers against Denver in Super Bowl 50. All those sacks, they've only been an official record since Super Bowl 17. I know it's believed that L.C. Greenwood unofficially had four way back in Super Bowl 10. Wearing those golden... And oh, it caught up! And it's picked up by the Cowboys! And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. Challenges come from, of course, in the final two minutes of the half. Yeah, now we're going to New York, right? That's command central for the officials. They'll talk, they'll take a look at it, communicate with the referee at the game site, and issue a final decision because they do have the final call now. two minutes to go in the game, which means that this challenge was initiated by the fellows in New York. And if you're the coach, you're thinking, thank you, New York. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. What a season this has been. Hard to believe it ends tonight, as we'll get back to you guys for the second half of this Super Bowl in just a moment. It's been a tremendous season of football, but it's not over yet. One half remains to decide who will stand on the podium with the Vince Lombardi Trophy and to call the second half here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. These two teams sat through a longer-than-usual 30-minute wait, but we're back in action here in the Super Bowl. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Steelers take over first and 10. At their own the Steeler offense now with a football first here to begin the third quarter. And last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead. You've got to protect the football. So in other words, someone got lucky because they've been moving the ball really well and wearing them down. In this case, though, giving up the football 
doesn't make them very happy. They can't wait to get back out there and atone for it. Yeah, trying to atone for it here on this drive. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Brings up second and eight. To throw, Brissett. This one into the hands of Metcalf. It's a gain of five on the play, and it'll be third down. That's a gain of five. Brings up third and three. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he's taken down at the 43. But now the third picking up the first. They get six on the pick up there as the drive will continue. Someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? Lava has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. Territory now. Here's first and ten at the 36. Gonna give this time to the tailback. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31 yard line. He's brought down at the Tackle there by Leighton Vander Esch. Brings up second and five. And right side, they're going to go option here. He's got a first down and much more inside the 20. And he's all the way down to the 13-yard line. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. him up five first and 15. Brissett. That is caught at the seven. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. To throw again on second down. Brissett. And down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the 14. Neville Gallimore gets him for a loss of eight. What great push up front. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. Ninth play of the drive coming up, and certainly not an easy one on third and long. Set now. That is caught. It's Juju for the Steeler touchdown. Juju Smith Schuster, his second touchdown of the Super Bowl. And the Steelers find a way to stretch their lead. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give him a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. And now the Steeler offense staying out there. And they'll go for two. Throwing. 
Brissett, and he's got it. So the try for two successful, and that pumps their lead up even further. So they're able to throw it in for the two-point conversion. Sometimes that can be a risky play, but they got it. Yeah, you always have to be careful here because if you do get it intercepted, it's returned by the defense. That's two points for them, but he identified an open target and put it right on him. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. This is it. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They trail offense first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned. Because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. And they got it well across midfield down to the 40. Before it's all set and done. 27 yards there, a first down. At the 40-yard line. Draw play, Elliott. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, gotta like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely, pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Again, it's Elliott. And now they're gonna get him down right at the line of scrimmage. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. Third and two. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Cowboy first down. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. Zeke, another first and ten. Now a handoff here to his running back. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. First and 10 at the 11. Another carry tonight for the workhorse Allen. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. A gain of four. It's now second and six. Now a carry for Brown. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Taking it in from seven yards away. And the Cowboys have cut it to within a score. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up. Meaning, when you get on a guy, you just stay right there. Each guy has his own assignment. That allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. It's up and good. This becomes a 21-14 ball game now. So that drive goes eight plays. And in the end, it's capped off by a seven-yard run. This game back within a touchdown now as the kickoff's away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The Steelers take over first and 10. Pittsburgh's offense now heading back out onto the field. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead.
On first down, Metcalf. Oh, he breaks another. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I've loved the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick, he's been decisive, and he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. the 40 already and another first and 10. They'll keep it on the ground. Metcalf. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. Down. Call it no gain on the play and it'll be second down. No gain on the play. Brings up second and 10. At the 40. Throwing on second down. Reset. Throw on second. Complete to Smith-Schuster. And he's in. Touchdown, Steelers! Juju Smith-Schuster with his third touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Steelers, they broaden their lead. That's a pretty quick response to that last touchdown drive. It seemed like they had maybe given up momentum. Well, not so fast. No, not at all, because they end up pushing the lead up once again, and you're exactly right. Thought momentum might have been shifting. Instead, they grabbed old Mo, didn't let him get to the opposite sideline. Boswell for the extra point. He's got it as they double up the lead. This one's now 28-14. Scoring summary, three-play drive, and it ends with the Steelers finding the end zone. Now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Taken in at the three. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. At their own 30-yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two-minute. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. They're throwing here to start the drive as they connect left side. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And shedding his way forward. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Cowboy first down. That's the reason we ball for. Circle round twice with the encore. If you know, you know. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Three yards the game there, second down. It's a pickup of three. From the shotgun again to Elliott. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. No gain on the play. Brings up third down and Prescott to throw it. And he'll have his man. That's Cooper. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. First, that was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. One quarter remains here in the Super Bowl. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. On first and 
10, Prescott. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. Offense. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Now Prescott. Got his man there complete to Gallup. And this will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. It'll be a gain of eight yards, and that'll make it second and 12. At the Steelers, 27-yard line. And his throw is incomplete. And the Cowboys on third down, five out of nine thus far. This is third down and 12. Today's NFL, these big guys are featured receivers. They move all over the place to try to find good matchups. And they had one, they were just unable to complete the pass. Incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Makes the score, Steelers 28, Cowboys 17. So the scoring drive encompasses nine plays, and the net result, three points. Take your disappointment and put it aside. Nine plays, yeah, they want to end up in the end zone with a touchdown. I get that. But sometimes those nine-play drives pay dividends later with another nine-play drive that culminates in a touchdown when they wear down a defense. The Steelers take over first and ten. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And they have been the better of the two sides to this point with a two-score lead, fourth quarter of this Super Bowl, and the Lombardi Trophy within reach as they start this drive first and ten. And he'll give it here to his running back. And give him six yards here as he's stopped near the 35 at the 34. He's tackled at the 34-yard line. It's a pickup of six. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Out of the gun, Brissett. Ebron with it over the middle. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. Ebron got it. That's good for a Pittsburgh Steeler. First and ten at the 45-yard line. They'll run on first down. Metcalf. And no room that time. Getting it to about the 46. Neville Gallimore on the stop. Brings up second and nine. On second and nine. Brissett. And he almost had it defensively. Could have been a game changer there in this second half. Instead, it's third down. It's now third down and nine yards. To From the gun, here's Brissett. He gets it left side of Johnson. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. A gain of 10, good for a Steeler first down. Well, normally you might say start running the football. You've got the lead here in the fourth quarter. But the way that they've passed it with such success, I don't know, maybe keep throwing it. Yeah, I think you brought up something that goes against conventional wisdom, right? In this stage of the game, you would think you would switch to a running attack. But you're exactly right. They've thrown it so well throughout the game. And trusting this quarterback, I think he continued to do so. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. On play action, Brissett. Under pressure here, and down he goes. Sack back at about the 43-yard line. Jalen Smith able to run him down for a loss of 12 that time. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out, you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you, and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability, and a sack resulted. Throwing on second and long. Brissett, and as he throws and the ball is out, it's a live football. And it's picked up by the Cowboys. And this is going to be brought back for a fumble return. Touchdown by the Cowboys. Touchdown, Cowboys. And 
what we just saw, very, very rare. We only had five of those in the first 50 Super Bowls. The biggest stage, the biggest game, and we just saw it happen again. Extraordinary. The defense has been good, and they were good again there. Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. Prescott now after the fumble recovery. And this is caught. They got it. And that could be an important two points. It gets him back within a field goal. I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet, said go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call, and he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion, and now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves. Returning it, Johnson. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Hey, Johnson on the return. The Steelers take over first and 10. Juju Smith-Schuster and the rest of this offense heading back out there. And I think we both agreed he could have a really good game with this matchup, but over 200 yards now. I don't think we saw it as that good. And I think what really makes it special is when games like this are occurring, it's not just getting locked in and in the zone and on a roll. It's continuing to adjust throughout the game because you know the defense is kicking coverages towards him, trying their best to slow him down, and he keeps getting the ball. Yeah, whatever they've done, it hasn't worked. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive, first down. Well, it may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. Now, that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. And to give this time to the tailback. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying it around campus, right? Maybe the old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out of his work by sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. Eric Ebron, the big tight end, is intended target. We're set from the gun on third. Ebron's got it. And he will have his Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. On first down, Metcalf. Ha-ha, Clinton Dix there for the stop. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yards, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down, stomped down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. A first down throw for Brissett. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. It's second down and 10. And they run the option on second down. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Johnson. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Brings up third and On third down, Metcalf. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what was said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we got to get no less than a three and out. Let's get off the field. 
Instead, they can't find any traction towards doing that. Right now, they're just getting muscled all over the field and getting pushed down it. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. And a result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Brings up second and two at the Cowboys' six yard Again, McFarlane. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. First and goal at the three. He'll try to run this one in. Pushing and firing his way in for a Steeler touchdown. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Steelers are going to add on to their lead. Second effort there. He was determined to find pay dirt, and he did. I think that's a great example of what coaches talk about, a back that runs behind his pads, and he uses pads to get him into the end zone. take a 10-point lead. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it ends with a three-yard scoring run. Cowboys, 25. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Taking it about the one. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Cowboys take over first and 10 at their own 26-yard line. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. And we're at the time of this Super Bowl where, look, they need points. And they need them badly. Trailing here in the fourth quarter as they begin this drive first and 10. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. He'll find Lamb, that's complete. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Solid way to start the drive, 13 yards, picking up the first. But correct me if I'm wrong, you know, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. After the delay of game, first and 15. <laughs> Prescott from the gun. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Not much there, only a yard. He's out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. <laughs> Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. His throw incomplete. Cooper, the intended target, and now it's third down. You and I watched film yesterday, and you told me to watch his feet. For whatever reason, his footwork just looked off on that throw. And you always love it when the next defensive back talks quarterback mechanics, right? Yeah, but you're good at it. Well, I, I try, all right? I don't know how good I am, but it doesn't take much to tell. His mechanics are off a little bit, exactly what you described. Footwork, that led to the incompletion. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. In this situation, the dictation is coming from the defense, right? They're going to tell you. You can have six, seven yards. Do that all the way downfield. Let's just go ahead and take the time off the clock. I think they've got to start attacking vertically a lot more. If they're going to have a shot in this Super Bowl, they're going to need this one on fourth down. The Cowboys will go. Prescott looking deep in the direction of Cooper. Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. And now they are knocking on the door. Inside Pittsburgh's 10. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. Two minutes. 
minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They've got it first and goal as they look to punch in a late score. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. Third and goal, a big play in this Super Bowl. Brings up third and goal. Now Prescott. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs. Able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. Makes the score Steelers 35, Cowboys 28. So you knew one way or another that they needed the two scores. They get the easy one out of the way. Now they'll get the ball back, hopefully. Yeah, and the question is, how do you accomplish that? Do you onside kick it? Or since you have all three timeouts, do you kick it deep? To me, I'm playing field position with all three timeouts. I kick it deep and try and pin them back there. Deontay Johnson on the return. The Steelers take over first and ten. Pittsburgh set to take over again on offense. And this game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see them take all three timeouts defensively, so they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand. They'll run on first down. Metcalf. before he reaches the 27. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll get it with just over 90 seconds to go in the ball game. Right back to him on first down. The Cowboys are going to use their second timeout now as it'll come with an even 90 seconds remaining on the clock. Second and 12, and you'd have to assume another all-out effort to stop the run is coming. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Third down, Metcalf. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 16. Just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I can be in that huddle with that offensive line. And I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. And the knee is taken for the Steelers out of the victory formation. Time for this one final knee to put a bow on this title bout. The Pittsburgh Steelers have won the Super Bowl, and the Lombardi Trophy is going back to the Steel City. For the victors getting to hoist that Lombardi Trophy, you know, we've talked to guys that have done it, and they say there's no better feeling in sports. I don't know how there can be. The, the, the journey to get to this game is incredible. And then to finally break through and win it when all eyes are on this game alone because there's nothing else going on, that's just got to be absolutely amazing. That, the task, incredible. But the accomplishment, forever.
this year just how everybody wants to end the year holding the Lombardi Trophy what a season for them what a ride it's been for us as well here in the booth for Charles Davis and our entire crew I'm Brandon Gunn thanks for watching everybody we will see you next season right here on EA Sports